Hey internet friends, MTV just put out a video titled MTV's 2017 New Year's Resolutions for White Guys. Now I wanted to watch this video with you, but this isn't a first impressions video. I already know MTV's racist, but you know, watching things like this, it enforces my belief that MTV and mainstream media in general is just doing their best to try to divide and conquer. They are pitting us against each other. Why would MTV do this? I don't know. Why does anyone like to watch the world burn? You tell me. So let's watch this dumpster fire together and let me know what you think in the comments. First off, try to recognize that America was never great for anyone who wasn't a white guy. As me, not being a white male, America is fine for me. It's great, it's gonna be even better in the future. So why do you live here if you don't believe that? I mean, you could live anywhere in the world. You, your wings aren't clipped, regardless of what your skin color, gender, etc., is. Can we all just agree that Black Lives Matter isn't the opposite of all lives matter? Black lives just matter. There's no need to overcomplicate it. Of course black lives matter, but can we just acknowledge for one second that black lives matter is backed, funded, the money is coming from white men like George Soros, for example. So what could have been a really positive movement and started change within communities and repaired relations between black people and police ended up being a tool utilized for propaganda to push someone's agenda. And these people are controlled opposition. People like Sean King, who stand and represent Black Lives Matter, he's on George Soros's payroll. Also, Blue Lives Matter isn't a thing. Cops weren't born with blue skin, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, they weren't born blue. Stop bragging about being woke. Stop saying woke. Stop saying woke. Woke, 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 woke. Learn what mansplaining is, and then stop doing it. Was that girl in the oversized glasses supposed to be who represents me as a woman? We all love Beyonce, and yeah, she's black, so of course she cares about black issues. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Fox News. Feel free to take Kanye West, though. You guys can have him. You know what you did, Kanye. Sorry, Kanye West, you went against the narrative and we're going to ostracize you now. Nobody who has black friends says that they have black friends. And just because you have black friends doesn't mean you're not racist. You could be racist with black friends. Look guys, we know nobody's perfect. But honestly, you could do a little better in 2017. What I think is funny about this is that they've gotten all these stereotypes together as actors to push this insincere narrative. We've got the beta male liberal man to represent white men. Talking to you white men, I'm a white man, therefore I represent you. We've got the follow me on Tumblr girl to represent feminists. We've got, you know, a litany of different characters here to represent all of us who are watching. But they don't really represent any of us, do they? Because we can all think for ourselves. We can all come to our own conclusions and we can all see the shtick that MTV is pushing. Yes, racism exists. We see it here with this MTV commercial. Yes, it is a problem. All these people do, you know, Beyonce, MTV, mainstream media, Katy Perry, who say they are behind Black Lives Matter, who say they care about you. They only stir the pot. They are not offering any solutions. They are not telling people to discipline their children if their children are like filthy racists. They're not doing any of that. They don't care. They don't care about you. They want you to think they do, but they don't care about you and they don't care about me. They only care about that dollar dollar bill, y'all. I'm going to offer you all a solution now. This is how we mend relations. We identify who is trying to divide us, and we take them down. In conclusion, uh, that's all I have. I make new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, so subscribe, and Merry Christmas, my friends.